eleventh September two thousand twenty three Martin Murphy Om Shanti Bhattada Madhupan Sweet children, the play is now coming to an end and you have to return home. Therefore, content forget the costumes of your bodies. Consider yourselves to be bodiless souls. Question Which wonderful game only takes place at the conference age and not in any other age? Answer That of divorcing. Ram divorces you from Ravan. Ravan then divorces you from Ram. This is a very wonderful game. By forgetting the father, you are shot by Maya. This is why the father gives you the teachings. Children, stabilize in the relation of the self. Content to forget your body and all body religions. Content to make a lot of effort. To have remembrance, become soul conscious. Song, the brain of knowledge is on those who are with the beloved. Om Shanti, your sweetest children heard the song. Number wise, according to your efforts, it is said to be number wise in every situation because this is a college or university. Together with that, it is a true satsang. The company of the truth, only the one is called the truth. He only comes here once. At this time, you truly say that you are in the company of the truth. Only you Brahmins personally sit in front of the truth, who is called the ocean of knowledge. It is sung, the reign of knowledge is on those who are with the beloved. The father is called the beloved, the reign of knowledge comes from the beloved who is in front of you children. You children know that the ocean of knowledge, the purifier, is now truly personally in front of you. We are becoming pure from impure, flowers from thrones. When we have become flowers, our bodies will not remain. Buds also open gradually. They don't open instantly. They open gradually and become complete flowers. Now no one has yet become a complete flower. That would be the karmatic stage. Only at the end will you become soul conscious. All of you are now content to make effort. The father is the paralogic father. These two are the allogic mother and father of the confluence age. Some are thrones and others are birds. It takes time. For birds to open. All of you are number wise birds who are to become flowers. Some are in full bloom and some have only half open. One day they will definitely open it completely. This is a garden. You know that you have become birds from thrones and are becoming flowers. You are now making effort. Some birds just die. Some bloom a little and then die. There are very strong storms of Maya. Even when centers open, some are finished quickly. They fall. Maya is very powerful. This is a tongue of war between Ram and Ravan. It is said, Ram, Ram. It isn't the Ram of the Silver Age that they remember. They say, Ram, Ram, for God. Ravan is compared against Ram. Ram is the father and Ravan is Maya, the enemy. Maya too is very powerful. This is a game of divorcing one another. Ram makes you renounce Maya, Ravan. Maya then makes you renounce the father, Ram. The father says, make your intellect renounce your bodies and all your bodily relations. Renounce all bodily relations, forget and so and so. And I belong to this religion and stabilize yourselves in the religion of the self. Renounce all body religions and consider yourselves to be alone. You are made to renounce everything of this world. Become bodiless. Belong to me and remember me. When you forget the father, you are shoot by Maya. Content to make a lot of effort to remember the father. 
Maya is also very powerful. After you belong to the father, Maya makes you renounce everything and takes you away from the father. No one should divorce the father. For half a cycle, you have been remembering me. Only you are complete devotees. You are the ones who started devotion. The father comes and makes you renounce Maya. He says, consider yourselves to be souls. Content to forget those costumes, men's bodies, that's all. We now have to return home. There are actors in those plays too. They too are aware that in just 5 to 10 minutes, their play will come to an end and that they will then return home. This is in their intellects when the play is about to end, not at the beginning. You also understand that your 84 births have now come to an end. How much time now remains? You ask, when will we go to heaven or the land of happiness? However, the father says, this is said to be an invaluable life. You are doing very important service by following Srimad. Only your Pandavas follow Srimad. Those things are not mentioned in the Gita, etc. This Baba has studied many scriptures and adopted many gurus. You know the activities of all the actors. It is latter that they sit and write the scriptures. What do they know? This play is predestined in the drama. The Gita and the Bhagavad will repeat at their own time. The Gita is the mother and father. The Gita is said to be the mother. No other religious books would be called a mother. This is called the Mother Gita. Acha, who created it? First of all, a husband adopts a wife. When a man gets married, he says, this is my wife. So, he is a creator. Then, when they have children, he says, these are my children. The children would say, this is our father. You are the madpun creation of Baba. You say, Baba, we belong to you. For so long, we have content to follow Maya's directions and we will now follow your directions. Maya doesn't give you directions in words. Maya just makes you act in that way. The father sits here and explains to you in words. All of you are residents of Bharat. You know that your Bharat was the crown. There are now neither of the crowns, neither the holy one, nor the unholy one. It is said, Her holiness, His holiness. Thus is said to both men and women, His holiness, it's said to sannyasis. However, that is not a family path. On a family path, both husband and wife remain pure. In the golden age, both are pure anyway and that is called completely pure. Both the souls and their bodies remain pure. Here, in the impure world, neither can be pure. So, you are now personally listening to the Father and this is called the reign of knowledge. That is the reign of poison and this is the reign of the nectar of knowledge. It is sung, why should we renounce nectar and drink poison? You are now receiving the nectar of knowledge. On the path of devotion, the simply content to sing thus. You are now receiving the nectar of knowledge in a practical way. It is because of this that there is the name Amritsar, means the lake of nectar. However, there are many such lakes. There is also the Mansar over lake. That is not a lake of human beings. This one is a lake of the nectar of knowledge. And he is also called the Mansarur of knowledge. There is also the ocean of knowledge. Some are rivers, some are canals, and some are little ponds. It is number wise. Your children understand that the father explained in the previous cycle and that he is now also explaining once again. You have the faith that you are studying Raj Yoga from Baba through which you became the masters of heaven in the previous cycle too. The subjects too would say that they are masters. The people of Bharat say that their Bharat was the highest of all. 
Our Bharat is now the lowest of all. Our Bharat used to be very elevated, but our Bharat has now become very degraded. This would not be said of any other land. Those of all religions know that Bharat is an ancient land and that they didn't exist at that time. In the Golden Age, there would definitely be just the people of Bharat. It is remembered that 3000 years before Christ, there was just Bharat and no other religion. There was new Bharat in the new world. Bharat is now old. Bharat was heaven. But this doesn't sit in anyone's intellect fully. This is something that is very easy to understand. The Father is explaining to you. You perform this task in a practical way. You become the true verse, number wise, according to your efforts. You have to relate the true Gita. You don't have to hold any religious books in your hands. You are Roop and Basant. Your souls are listening to the knowledge of the Gita from the Father. You have just the one Father in your intellects. You don't have any other gurus or sages or holy men in your intellects. You would say that you have listened to the ocean of knowledge, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, who is also called Shat Sri Akal. These words are so sweet. Akali people means sick, says very loudly, Sat Sri Akal. Here you should perform the dance of knowledge. This is why it is said, those who have the truth dance in happiness. Later, you will go there and dance in happiness. Mira used to dance in trance, but she was performing devotion. You do not perform devotion. The father, the bestower of divine vision, himself is teaching you. Many children continue to have visions, and so people think this is a magic. Children continue to wander around, men's and trance, while studying. That is just a game for you. That is not a subject. There are no marks in that. There are no marks for playing games. Here too, those who continue to play games don't receive marks in knowledge. Those are games. They are called subtle games. Others are gross games, whereas those are subtle games. Those who perform dances, etc., don't receive marks. That is why Baba says this knowledge is better than trance. It is elevated. In trance, there is just the vision of the aim and objective. This is Raj Yoga. You have your aim and objective in your intellects. They see with their eyes that they will become so and so. Here, this is your future aim and objective. You have to become prince and princesses. You then become emperors and empresses. What would someone who sits in a college without any aim or objective be called? No other spiritual gatherings in Bharat have an aim or objective. Thus can be called a university and also a school. A spiritual gathering when satsang can never be called a school. You children know that you are studying at this Godfather University of the Purifier. You are making the whole universe into pure heaven. You are making this universe into heaven for yourselves. Those who make it like that will then rule there. It isn't that everyone will become a master of heaven. Those who have become complete presidents of hell, who have performed devotion from the copper age, are the only ones who will become residents of heaven. All other human beings will be crushed like mustard saints and destroyed, and those souls will return home to the Father. Such a big destruction has to take place. There are now so many people. How many are you going to sit and count? No one can count this accurately. There are so many human beings in the world. All of them will be destroyed. The example of the banyan tree has been shown to your children. There is a very big tree in the Calcutta. It has no foundation. But the rest of the tree is standing. The deity religion exists now, but its name has disappeared. You wouldn't say that 
it has no foundation there would at least be some name or trace of it even if it is decayed disappeared means that only a little of it remains there are its images lakshmi and narayan used to rule in bharat this is very easy but maya ravan has locked their intellects the supreme father the supreme soul is the intellect of the wise human beings have intellects but they are locked they have become those with stone intellects bhava is now once again making you into those with divine intellects he is making souls this an intellect is an eight soul it is said you have a stone intellect you have a buffalo intellect it is the same here whatever i explain they don't understand they don't follow shrimat shrimat always says children pick and sticks for the blind you have to listen to this and then relate it to others this is why you have to travel far to serve others you mustn't just sit down in one place you are now studying knowledge and yoga here you are personally sitting in front of shibaba you are studying az raj yoga in order to claim your inheritance you have come here to claim the kingdom of the land of vishnu the rosary of victory of vishnu will be created you have now understood the secrets of the drama very clearly you know that there truly was the deity sovereignty there were the king and queen at the beginning of the golden age now at the end of the iron age no one can be called a king or queen however when someone helps the government he receives the title of maharaja that government used to give titles such as rai sahib rai bahadur etc you are now receiving great titles in a practical way you will become her holiness his holiness emperor and empress you will have double crowns first there is the holy kingdom and then unholy kingdoms now this unholy there is no kingdom it is the rule of the people by the people the drama has to be understood acha to the sweetest be loved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dhatna first point bath daily in the mansarovar lake of the nectar of knowledge and make both the soul and body pure renounce following the dictates of maya and follow the directions of the father second point this is the invaluable time of the conference age it is at this time that you follow shrimat and do service become the true vas listen to the true gita and relate it to others became roop and basant blessing may you be truly merciful and save yourselves and everyone else from the many types of fire explanation today's human beings are burning in many types of fire many types of sorrows worries problems different types of injuries these fires give the experience of burning a life However, you have come away from such a life and are leading an elevated life. You are sitting on the shores of the cold ocean. You are merged in the attainment of super sense of joy and peace. So be merciful and save other souls too from the many types of fire. Create places of knowledge in every state. and show everyone their destination slogan those who have true love for the one father and find it easy to become bodiless om shanti